Welcome back. Congress MP and leader of opposition Rahul Gandhi hit out at RSS and BJP during his visit to the US. Speaking at Texas, Rahul said people have lost their fear of PM Modi and the BJP following the 2024 Lok Sabha election results. Rahul went on to say that RSS does not believe in diversity and they want to confine women to traditional roles like cooking. He made the remarks at an Indian diaspora event during his visit to the US. This is what Rahul Gandhi said. It's not just labor participation. It's, I mean, it starts with, sorry, but it starts with a bad attitude uh, that Indian males have towards women. And I don't mean every single Indian male, but a large number of Indian males' attitudes towards women is just, it's, it's ridiculous, right? So it starts there. And it's a particular way of thinking about women. Uh, and you see it, you see it, we see it in the political system, we see it in the business system, we see it everywhere. Um, so I'm very big, number one, on political participation of women. Uh, reservation bill to start with. Uh, ensuring that women get into business. Ensuring that women are supported financially if they want to open uh, their business. Uh, and then making sure that it is made easier for women to participate, right? Women have their own particular issues that you need to take care of before they can start to participate. So uh, I, think, I think the first thing is <coughs> of thinking of women the same way you think of men, right? That they can do anything men can do, if not better, and that they are equal and better in many, many things. This is part of the ideological fight between the BJP and us. Right? Uh, the BJP and the RSS believe that women should be restricted to a particular role. They should stay at home, they should cook the food, they should not talk too much, right? And we believe that women should be allowed to aspire to whatever they want to do. I think currently, a huge problem in the education system is the ideological capture. So, you know, feeding ideology through the education system. Most of our vice chancellors today are placed by the RSS. Uh, it's an organization that has a very particular perspective on life, on history, on the future. Uh, that's really damaging. Having one organization that is placing all its people in our education system, I think that's damaging. So ensuring that people who run our education system are independent, are not you know, ideological, or are not committed to sort of uh, a particular way of thinking, I think is important. Every single word that I have said to you is in the Constitution. The foundation of modern India is the Constitution. And, and what people understood in the election, clearly, and I saw it happening. When I used to raise the constitution like this, people understood what I was saying. They were saying that the BJP is attacking our tradition, attacking our language, attacking our states, attacking our histories. And most importantly, what they understood was that anybody who is attacking the constitution of India is also attacking our religious tradition. Now, Helen Rahul Gandhi, chairman of the Indian Overseas Congress, Sam Pitroda, said that Rahul Gandhi's agenda is to address some of the larger issues and he has a vision which is contrary to what BJP promotes by spending crores of rupees. He further said that Rahul Gandhi is not a papu, that he is highly educated, he is a strategist with deep thinking on any subject. Listen in. Rahul Gandhi has a different agenda. His agenda is more focused on, and that is inclusion, celebration of diversity. And Mr. Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi's agenda is to really address some of these larger issues. He has a vision. Contrary to what BJP promotes by spending crores and crores of rupees, I must tell you he is no papu. 
He is highly educated. He is well read. He is a strategist with deep thinking on any subject. And sometimes it is not very easy to understand him. Now, in no time, Rahul Gandhi's scathing attack invited a deluge of uh, political reactions with fireworks from both opposition and ruling parties. INDI Netas defended Rahul, saying that people in the country are more eager to listen to Rahul's vision than that of Modi. Rahul Gandhi ji aisa tha, aisa hua, ke majority ke, uh, majority ke nashe mein, BJP ne democracy ko khatam kar diya India mein. Minorities ko dabane ki koshish ki aur dabaya. Modi ko ab log sunna nahi pasand karte. Rahul Gandhi ko sunna India ke andar bhi pasand karte hain. Parliament ke andar bhi pasand karte hain aur bahir bhi pasand karte hain. We can understand that if you can name any of the any one of the RSS leaders who had been a pracharak or something. Uh, Grijraj uh, Singh ji informs that any RSS uh, Pracharak was been a leader, then we will be able to understand it because RSS wants to keep only men in the front, they want to keep only women in the kitchens. That's the truth. When truth is told, uh, bell butties will jump. We all know that this is the mindset of RSS. Niyamika is joining us live. Niyamika, uh, the BJP, of course, has hit back at uh, Rahul Gandhi while the Congress is trying to defend the leader. Well, indeed, as not just the Congress party, but the other India bloc parties has come out in open and they have also supported the statement which is being given uh, by the leader of opposition in Lok Sabha, Mr. Rahul Gandhi in uh, Texas as uh, uh, whatever he has mentioned about the ideology of RSS is not something uh, the India bloc parties have been continuously alleging as the India bloc parties during the general elections also uh, we have seen that uh, they had mentioned that the BJP and the RSS wants to attack the constitution of our India and that's what uh, they, uh, the, uh, the uh, Congress leader has also repeated as he has also mentioned that uh, uh, India is not just about one idea it's a, it's a union of states there are different languages, caste uh, la uh, and uh, uh, even religions also and that's what is, uh, uh, is uh, uh, being mentioned in the constitution of our country as well. Not just this but in fact, Rahul Gandhi has also made an allegation against the RSS uh, by saying that their ideology is against the women of our country as they, uh, according to them, uh, the women confined uh, to the kitchens only. And when this question was being asked to the BJP, then BJP had mentioned that uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi doesn't... Uh, know the history of the RSS, what contribution they are having uh, in our country and uh, in fact a counter attack is also coming in on the part of the Congress party as the Congress leaders are saying uh, that RSS has no history and they have also uh, you know, raised a question before the BJP by saying that uh, if, if they want then they can also name even one of the women uh, member of the RSS who has become a big leader as uh, uh, the Congress party is alleging that uh, the RSS only wants men uh, to come in the front to get the uh, the important positions within the organization while they want that uh, right. uh, women should be confined to the kitchen only. So that's a big allegation which the uh, Congress party and the other India bloc parties right. are making upon the BJP as well as the RSS. All right, Niamika, thank you very much for getting us the details. With that, we'll begin to a very short break. News and updates will continue.